it's an, and it's a deep question, because it isn't even obvious whether the question, are there things you should value, is a reasonable question, or that it can be reasonably answered. The thing I can tell you about that that's most closely allied with my own experience, I don't mean personal experience, but say experience as a clinician, is that aimless people are in real trouble. Now, I don't necessarily know why that is, and I don't necessarily know what that means for what your aim should be. But I've certainly seen, for example, like if you had to make a choice, which all of you will in the next five years or so, between pursuing something, like diligently, and establishing a fixed identity because of that, or remaining bereft of choice and drifting, I, I can tell you that if you drift, by the time you're 30, you're going to be one miserable person. Now, I'm not sure why that is exactly, and I'm not exactly sure that that necessarily means that picking something and sticking to it, which is a form of apprenticeship, is better than drifting. It depends on what you mean by better. But I can tell you that not catalyzing an identity seems to be a mistake, and it's a fatal mistake by the time you're 40. It's very, very difficult to recover from it at that point, because you're not young anymore at that point, and if you try to catalyze an identity at that time, which sometimes can happen, you're competing with all these like young, shiny people, and it's not who are much more full of potential from the perspective of an employer, for example, than you are. It gets pretty dismal. <laughs>